welcome back to Spend Too Much Diecast. What is going on, crew? Welcome back to the channel. To all my returning crew members, if you're new here to the channel, welcome to Spend Too Much Diecast, where we do all different types of diecast unboxings. Alrighty, so today we're going to be continuing the Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious series. So this is 2024 mix number three. And if you're counting overall, we are on the 22nd mix totally or in total. So 2024 mix three um, overall, this is the 22nd set that they have put out. That does not include the premium box, and that does not include the special five packs that were sold on Amazon. Um, I don't consider those part of the set. They technically are, but not if you're looking at the mixes. And most of those cars in there are all duplicates. They're just packaged in a different form of box. So let's go ahead and see what we're getting this time on this mix. Um, it is a five car set. And I do believe all of them are rollovers except for possibly the Porsche and possibly the Land Cruiser. Um, I think the Defender is a rollover. But I will check our old stock or our back stock or our previous stock and I'll pull out the other cars if we already had them and we can do some comparison on the end. So number five, we have the Land Rover Defender. And of course, these are unnamed anymore. This one's from F9. Number four, we have the Toyota Land Cruiser. That one is cool. That one is from the Fate and the Furious. Then number three, we have the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. That one is saying it's from Tokyo Drift. Nice. And unfortunately, all these cards were bent and damaged when I found them in the stores. So that is why we are unboxing. I try to like I try to keep clean cards because I do like to save my cards, especially all these Fast and the Furiouses. But we have the Mercedes Benz 500 SEL. What's that one from Tokyo Drift as well? Ooh, Deckard didn't Deckard Shaw drive that into Han's car? And then of course the custom Acura. Integra GSR sedan, which is really cool from the original, the Fast and the Furious. So what we'll do is we'll go ahead, get these all cut out of the package, and then we'll come back and take a closer look at them. Alrighty guys, and we are back. So actually looking through my container, we only have two duplicates. So not too bad, unless I missed one. If I did, you guys will have to let me know in the comments. But I did go through all the old ones and only found two duplicates, that one and that one. So all three in the middle are new castings, basically for the Fast and Furious set, which isn't bad. And I do know that we are getting a mix four still this year. So that'll be the last mix of this year and then they'll move on to doing next year. So throughout the video as well, when I get to the car, I'll try to put somewhere on the screen here who drives it maybe even a clip or a still picture from the movie just so we can get some reference but here we are starting it off with the first one and then at the end we'll do the comparison on the two that i already have so here we are with number one from the set this is the custom acura integra sedan gsr and again i'll put all the information at the bottom of who drives it and stuff like that so again these are the premiums meaning we get metal car metal base and of course the real rider wheels and here we are with mia's integra this thing is looking really nice with the graphics on it, it does have the 11 uh, we got headlight deco which is awesome usually all premiums give us both headlight and taillight deco which is amazing do they do this one? I don't remember if they did. They did not do that. I don't think hers was right-hand drive in the movie. But she did have the four-door, which was nice. Here's the other side. Graphic. That one seems to be sitting a little bit higher, but not too bad. We got the number 11 again on 
the rear door going to the back we have the tail lights and then we do have the type r and the hks delivery on the bumper so that is cool so then we'll do the comparison on that one in the end all right then the next one up we have is the mercedes-benz 500 sel they're saying this one's from tokyo drift if you remember in tokyo drift I think this is the car Deckard Shaw was driving when he hits Han in the um, Mazda. But if not, you'll see all the information down there on the bottom. This one is cool. I think this is a newer casting too, isn't it? 2023. So did this all just get released as premium? I don't remember seeing this as a baseline but or a main line. But it is kind of hard to keep track of all these castings. But this one is a cool casting. A nice clean car, no graphics to it basically just something right out of the showroom i love the gray on it the dark tinted windows we get the full headlight and grill deco and this uh the lip down there is painted black or it's part of the base actually but this is the cool part of the vehicle oh the half open window that looks cool all the other windows in the car are open but the driver's side they do a half type window which i think looks awesome it gives the car so much more detail when they do little little things like that. And the paint or the yeah, the deco for the door handles, it just it breaks the car up more and it looks a lot nicer. Not sure if the wheels are accurate from the movie. I would have to look at that. And then we do get the taillight deco, which is really cool. Oh, that one is pretty cool. This is a cool casting for a big sedan Mercedes. Alrighty, next up we have the Porsche 911 Carrera RS 3.8. Now this one's saying it's from Tokyo Drift. I do not remember this from the movie, but like I said, all the information will be down there at the bottom. Who drives it and a picture or a still movie. But again, nice clean car, no graphics on this one. They went with the smaller uh, European wheels. Uh, again, uh, tinted windows. They do put deco for the door handle which I think looks awesome and even the side marker there full headlight deco the side they even put a little bit of deco there in the back where the wing is and then of course full taillight deco and there is your base See, that's a newer casting too 2023 the Porsche very nice old i love the old school porsche i love the way that the headlights are like curved like that all righty then next up we have here is the toyota land cruiser fj43 uh i forgot what movie it was from the fate and the furious i kind of remember this one wasn't one of the girls like pretending to be broken down or something but like i said you'll see all that information down there 2023 so this is another newer casting and i do like this oh this is a cool car the i the thing with toyotas are like they're they're suvs like they're old school suvs are awesome like the land cruisers the uh the old sequoias um all those like old like off-road vehicles just look amazing I love the, the um, red and the white. I believe that's how it was in the movie with these nice big chrome wheels. Oh, you do get like the full front deco, oh, the Toyota on the grill and all that with the winch on the bumper. Oh, dev I definitely, I, I wish they still had more cars like this. It's even got the side mirrors in the casting, which is pretty cool. A little bit of deco up there on the hood for the pins. that winch sticking out that is so cool and then they do have the spare tire on the back but no rear oh yeah they put the tail lights are up at the top it would be cool if they were able to put like a, a real spare wheel on the back but that even look, might look like there's a gas tank or a gas container in there oh pretty cool Alrighty, and then the last one up we have the land rover defender 90 i think these were driven by shaw's guys or something like that 2019 Land Rover Defender 90. Of course, this is always a popular casting. We've seen these in other main lines and premiums, I think. 
but there is your front grill with the fender on it. All the t uh, headlights are painted in there. It's got the sunroof, which is kind of cool. Side markers. The back, you got the full Land Rover logo, all the lights back there. Different type of wheel, like, the, <laughs> I get it, because it's cheaper, I do get it, it's cheaper, but it would be cool if they had like matching wheels. But I always say that about spare tires. So there it is, there is the collection. This is the 2024 Mix 3 Hot Wheels Premium Fast and Furious. And then we're just gonna go ahead and do a quick comparison. We only got two to do. Here is the new one, here is the old one. And I already looked them over and they are exactly the same. There is no difference. Minus like maybe a little bit different shade, but it's, if anything, it's off just a little. Uh, the newer one, like I said, the logo sits up just a little bit compared to the older one, but I mean, that could just be that casting. But yeah, so those are identical, nothing different from that. It is a 100% of a repeat. And then the last one up was the Defender 90. Again, everything is ex exactly the same from the paint job to the deco, everything, nothing is different. So you basically are getting a duplicate casting, which um, Mattel and Hot Wheels have been doing a lot lately on not just the Fast and Furious set, but a lot of sets they've been repeating cars like that. So there we go. There is the unboxing. Hopefully you guys enjoyed it. If you are new here, I don't remember if I said it, go ahead, hit the subscribe button, join the Spend Too Much Diecast crew where we do lots of unboxings. We're growing the channel here more and more every day. And I do appreciate you guys, the fans, the, the crew members, everybody. So join the channel, become a crew member, and let's have some fun doing a whole bunch of different diecast unboxings here on the channel. But again, thank you for watching, and we'll see everybody on the next one here at Spend Too Much Diecast. Bye.